After several delays, the trial against Thomas Bootcamp has begun, accused of cyber stalking and kidnapping a Lubbock teenager. And it is good to see you all again. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. Bo Camp was arrested in Michigan in November of 2020, and he is representing himself in this trial. KMX Laura Lawhead was at the courthouse today. And Laura, what did we find out on day one of this trial? Well, Lauren and Brian, the first day of the trial has come to an end. Bo Camp is pleading not guilty. And like you mentioned, he is representing himself. And that means that today that he helped pick jurors. He gave an opening statement and he questioned witnesses on the stand, including that teenage girl's father. Now take a look at this sketch from our sketch artist of Bo Camp inside the courtroom today. The judge was paying close attention to him and interrupted if he ever felt Bo Camp crossed a line. In opening statements, the U.S. Attorney's Office saying Bo Camp was talking to the then 13 year old for months online and manipulated her into running away with him. Law enforcement used the girl's chat with him on Discord to find an email and later a phone number that led them to track down Bo Camp and the girl together in Bo Camp's Michigan home. Bo Camp countered this by saying he and the girl bonded over gory images online and he loved her and still loves her and would marry her if he could. He also admitted to having a sexual relationship with her. So far, the U.S. Attorney's Office has called the girl's father, a classmate, a mother of a classmate, and an LPD detective assigned to the case as witnesses. On the stand today, the girl's father saying he had seen gory and explicit images on her phone and computer in the months before her disappearance. After she went missing, he searched her room and found some personal things gone, including her baby blanket. She never went anywhere without, and that's how he knew she really left. When Bo Camp questioned him, there was a palpable tension in the room, and the father avoided eye contact. Bo Camp appeared to grow frazzled as this questioning went on. On the stand, we also heard from a classmate and a classmate's mother who both independently saw the girl leave the school that day and get into a red car that matched the description of the red car found at Bo Camp's house. Finally, today, testimony from a Lubbock police detective who was assigned this case. He found chats with the girl and Bo Camp on Discord and said Bo Camp was aggressive in these messages and threatened to torture her and kill her family. And the girl wanted these conversations to end. They showed in court messages between them where the girl said things like, quote, go find someone your own age, and she had a, quote, panic attack whenever she got a notification from him. Bo Camp tried to counter these claims, saying, aren't these messages considered private? And the prosecution overstepped this by showing them, but the detective emphasized a 14-year-old girl should have no expectation of privacy because these minors are a ward of their parent. The trial will resume tomorrow morning at 9, and the judge told us today that he expects his trial to be finished by Friday, if not sooner. And, of course, when this resumes, we'll be inside the courtroom to bring you all the latest right here. Here on KMAC. Reporting from the Federal Courthouse, I'm Lauren Lawhead, KMAC News.